again, we're back with some cybersecurity talk. So, just when companies are finally starting to understand millennials, a new generation is starting to emerge. Generation Z. People who were born from 1995 onwards. You're familiar with them, right? They're making their presence known, as people from this generation are starting to enter the workforce and earning their own income. Many characterizations are assigned to these individuals, including that they are more tech-savvy than their elders. That makes sense, right? That's natural. They grew up around mobile devices and social media. Of course, everybody is still an individual, and it's important not to generalize too much. So we'll only do a little bit of that today. By 2000, the majority of American homes had at least one computer. Even though many millennials grew up using the internet, it was probably with the sole family desktop computer. But thanks to mobile internet, Gen Z have computers in their pockets. They are able to be online constantly in a way that millennials never were able to in their youth. But they are also different in many other ways. <laughs> I'll give you one remarkable example. Since they have grown up among digital screens and touch devices, immersed in a continuous social media environment, the Gen Z also know the consequences technology can have. Similarly to their concern about the environment, they also worry about the security of their data on the internet. And that's a good thing. Gen Z is motivated by security, among other things. These young people were still kids during this great recession that we finally came out of which means that they may have seen their parents take huge financial hits and have seen huge scandals where photos of celebrities and normal people as well as many other personal information was leaked and spread throughout the internet and social media. So they already know all the consequences and they can at times be more cautious than previous generations. A significant portion of their lives may have been defined by struggles related to that. So, they are definitely more aware of the dangers, and sometimes, and not always, less adventurous online than older people. There are cases of Gen Z youngsters who are extremely careful about what they write in messaging apps, even the ones using end-to-end -end encryption, because they assume the worst, that at some point in the future, through hacking or some other way, whatever was meant to be a private one-on-one -on -one digital conversation will be leaked in the open on the internet. So, these kids, albeit having been immersed in their digital life since birth, are reverting to having in-person conversations for maximum privacy. This is a good lesson for all the employees and professionals out there who still use unsafe communication methods to exchange confidential company information. Sometimes we have to learn from the young, right? In fact, for once, I'll do a little commercial recommendation. If you're looking for a really secure and easy way to communicate information, whether personal or work-related, try HushApp. It's hushapp.io. We have built it with your security and privacy in mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video, too. Anyway, back to Gen Z, as I don't usually talk about what we do. So, uh, a national study found that 22% of Gen Z could only comfortably go less than an hour without accessing the internet, compared to an average of 15% for older generation. Another 40% of Gen Z says they could only comfortably go without the internet for 2 to 8 hours. In other words, 61% of Gen Z can go more than 8 hours without being online. Hmm. How about you? How many hours without being online are you comfortable with? When Generation Z thinks about the future as it relates to their digital experience, they see a high level of involvement and impact on their personal lives. The study found that 62% of Gen Z says in five years the internet will determine what a person does on a daily basis. It will also shed a great deal of light on someone's personal life, as the majority of Gen Z believes that your online reputation will determine your dating options. So watch out before getting on Tinder. What have you posted somewhere else, huh? They also think that whatever they upload to any social network can then be used against them in the future. 
So it's not just that something might come out in the open, it's that it might come back and bite them in the future. For example, can you imagine that in the middle of a job interview, they ask you about an unflattering comment you made in 2002? Maybe because of company policies, you would lose the opportunity to get that job. While this is not new, Generation Z is way more aware of this than we were, and that's a good thing. This is why maybe we should learn from these great little ones that are growing today. The addition of Generation Z will have a positive impact for sure in the cybersecurity world. So, like the Generation Z does, be safe online and offline, and we'll see you soon.